Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, you finally upgraded your Windows 8.1 machine to Windows 10, but you're not happy. So how would you downgrade your Windows 10 back to Windows 8.1? So it's pretty easy. So first thing that you need to do is go into your Fire Explorer and go to this PC, your C drive, and make sure you have that Windows.old folder because that Windows.old folder is your old operating system. Now, if you do not see this, that means that you did a complete wipe and clean and installation. Now, this is not what Microsoft wanted to do, the wipe and clean. They wanted to only upgrade your machine. So I'm gonna show you guys how to downgrade your Windows 10. So let's go to start, which is the new start menu. Let's go to settings. And once settings uh, pops up, we want to get into update and security. And we want to go into recovery. Okay. Now, within the recovery, you're going to see this beautiful option that says go back to Windows 8.1. Now, this option is only available for a month after you upgrade to Windows 10. So this is awesome. This means you could test all your applications, make sure everything is running, uh, make sure that Windows 10 is running with its highest performance in your environment. If you're not satisfied, you have a, an entire month to go back into Windows 8.1. So when you're ready and you don't like Windows 10, so go inside your settings, update and security, recovery, and just click get started. Once you click on that button, you're going to get a nice little dialog box, which is getting everything ready. Once everything is ready, you're going to get a nice little question saying, why are you going back? Now you pick your option or you could just tell Microsoft the real reason of why you don't want Windows 10, but I'm going to pick Windows 8.1 seems more reliable. We're going to click on next on that. Uh, read this what you need to know if you installed anything during your Windows 10 experience like any applications that you need to use uh, all the time most likely you need to reinstall them once you're back into your Windows 8.1 environment so you're gonna click on next on that click next and let's go back into Windows 8.1 now this process is gonna take a while so be patient I would say it would take between an hour to two hours uh, depending how much stuff it needs to reconvert itself back to Windows 8.1 and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoy the video if you have any questions or comments leave them right below don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy and I catch you guys on the next one peace out